Thank you. Right now we want to get out to that press conference we just mentioned happening right now in Reno where officials there are going to be talking about the coronavirus patient that they have there in Washoe County. Yeah, uh, I believe he's talking right now. Let's take a listen. We've been working on this since early this morning and will continue uh, throughout today. The safety of our residents is our top priority as we respond uh, to this case in our community. During preliminary investigations that we had with close contacts, we learned that a family member or family members of the positive case went to Huffaker Elementary School. We worked closely with the school district to close the school out of an abundance of caution. As we stated last night, there are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 at that elementary school, but we continue to investigate. Once we learn more, we'll work with the school district on a plan moving forward and we'll notify the public immediately. We're working with the families and students from the classroom at that school to collect samples for testing. We're doing that today. We'll use results to determine if there is any COVID-19 associated with uh, the influenza-like illness that we're seeing at that school to determine whether we're able to rule out COVID-19 as a cause of illness there. We're working with the CDC and we're aware that we do have other residents who are on the same Grand Princess cruise ship. We've been working to do risk assessments on those individuals for appropriate monitoring. Call volume at the health district has surged and our epidemiology staff is working very hard in uh, conducting risk, risk assessments and working on appropriately monitoring individuals uh, from our community that meet our criteria. We've activated our level two health district emergency response. Uh, that's an escalation uh, that we did this morning from a level one response in which we've been uh, working to monitor individuals and help to prepare our community uh, with precautionary uh, measures and planning for the potential if we do have community transmission here. Uh, I think the, the positive news at this point is that this is a travel related case uh, that we've identified and, and we have not yet identified uh, any community transmission. We'll be providing more information uh, which would include the possibility of another press briefing if there are additional cases identified with COVID-19. All right, well, this is a press conference we right now happening in Washoe County. Social. This is in northern Nevada, right around the Reno area. And just to recap there, we heard that the person that they have right now with the presumptive coronavirus case is a man in his 50s. Uh, was on a Grand Princess cruise ship mm. um, during that outbreak there, does have a student or students that goes to an elementary school there. They actually shut down the elementary school out of an abundance of caution because some of those students were showing symptoms, influenza-like symptoms, so they just wanted to go ahead and be careful there. But um, you heard from that man there saying they are on high alert. They're going to take extra precaution around the uh, area there and around the county. So a lot of people doing the same thing we're doing here at home. Right. And now, of course, with this case, um, we're seeing the same thing there. And the health district in Reno essentially saying that they are stepping up their response now mm -hmm. from a level one to a level two because they mentioned that there were some other residents that were also on that cruise ship and they just want to take all precautions possible. So, yeah, that is the latest out of Reno. So now that the